welcome to the Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Raquel Tolson, and this podcast is here to help you experience being blessed that transcends a mere hashtag. And you know, I'm a firm believer that being blessed is all about your mindset. It, you have to make a daily decision to be blessed. So if you're ready to have you know, to, to get you some encouragement, to be enlightened, and to be possibly entertained, because I think I'm kind of entertaining, then you're in the right place. I'm broadcasting on WYTV7, Christian Broadcasters Network. We are a nonprofit charitable radio broadcast with the mission to empower, encourage, and educate. So if you are enjoying the Blessed Podcast, please, 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 one more, please donate at www.wytv7.org. And today's podcast is sponsored by Tosin's Publishing because we're in the month of November and we're doing a challenge. And the challenge is a gratitude challenge. I need everybody to go on your social media and post something that you're grateful for every day. Even after Tuesday, I don't care, post something that you are grateful for every day. And then... You can buy the I Am Blessed journal and you can write it down, your daily, write it down daily in, in your journal. And then at the end of the week, we write a gratitude letter. We just thank God for everything that he's done for us in that week. So it's not, it's not a lot for you people that are, are not used to journaling, okay? All right, let's get into it. My guest today, well, one of them was here last, last season, Jack. Um, and but to this time, he brought his lovely wife, Saba. Um, so let me just give you a quick recap of who Jack is. Jack is the author of The Science of Affirmations and The Habit Mastery. That's a new one. We have to talk about that That's one. A one yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a new one. Okay, Jack is an entrepreneur, he's a spiritual teacher, he's a human potential coach. I love that. We're going to talk about that. So put a pin in that. Weight loss coach. Yep, we need him. Weight loss coach, business trainer, and professional speaker. He is a busy, busy man, y'all. All right. And his lovely wife, she has been a new thought for 25 years, but she has just recently decided to embark upon her journey to be a licensed spiritual teaching in new thought. So I'm excited. But Saber's also an entrepreneur. She's busy because she's a wife and she's a mother and she's a grandmother of two lovely, lovely people. But most of all, of course, you y'all already know it. Y'all can probably say it with me. They are my what? Friends. They are my friends. They are my church members. So welcome, Jack and Saber. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was you a nice, nice introduction. Nice introduction. <laughs> And all I need now is the picture of the babies to show those two beautiful grandbabies. <laughs> y'all just make sure y'all take me when y'all go on these war, uh, world tours and stuff so I can introduce y'all. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So wait a minute. Before we get started, y'all, I have to, so because you guys heard about the 30 day, the November challenge to be grateful. Can you guys just share why being grateful is something that everybody, everybody should jump on this, right? Yes. Okay. That was really loud. <laughs> the, the car just went by. That was just really loud. Okay. So y'all share to share with the audience why they should jump on this um, 30 day grateful challenge. Okay. I'll go first. I actually can share a story from just this morning, uh, being grateful. I worked yesterday, I was sharing with Raquel before we came onto the call that I was uh, working like a mad person yesterday. She was like, why weren't you guys at the, uh, the church e event that they had yesterday, our virtual Halloween party that they had? And I wanted to go, but I was extremely busy with work yesterday. And I was sharing with Raquel that it's, at one point I said, is it even worth the money? The answer is yes. <laughs> but I had asked myself, is it even worth the money? And, and then uh, my weekend is just filled with still the overflow from what I was working on last night. And so I woke up kind of in this mood of, oh, I just got so much to do. Like, how am I going to handle this, this weekend with all that I have to do? And um, I just said, uh, I have an app on my phone that gives me the opportunity to take a three minute meditation. And I took a three-minute meditation on acceptance. 
and it was just about like accepting the, the things that they are and just be grateful for what you do have control over. And what I do have control over, like Raquel is saying, is my choice about how I want to see this day. And I was telling her that that allowed me the opportunity to put something on my face today and put a little bit of makeup and put on a dress, you know, a nice spring, springy kind of dress and just have myself in a, in a good mood uh, for my day. It's a choice. I made a choice to, to change the, my attitude for the day. I love it. I love it. Yes. Oh, that's so good. Jack, I know you got some stuff to add. I know you got some stuff to add. I do. I do. Um, gratitude is really, really powerful. And, you know, you, you hit the nail on the head and, and, and say, but echoed it. It is a choice. One of the things that is so important about gratitude is it helps us to remember what's good in our lives. It helps us to remember what's going well in our lives. And, you know, you mentioned the, the upcoming elections and it's so easy to get caught up in, in other things that are happening, whether it's something that's happening in the news or something that's happening at home or something that's just happening in your own head, it's easy to get distracted and get sidetracked. And not, not that that's a bad thing, but what gratitude does is it brings us back to center. It brings us back to what's true about my life. What's true about my faith? Uh, what's going well in my life? What do I have to be thankful for? And when we stay in that vibration, all of these other things that's going on, can't pull us away so that's that's uh, i love that you're having a 30-day gratitude challenge that's wonderful yeah yeah so oh my gosh that's so good and i think it kind of leads us into what you guys have been doing because i'm gonna play i did you know everybody like to say devil's advocate i'm gonna play devil's advocate to all of us when people say well i don't have i can be grateful but this is happening i want to be grateful but that happened. And you guys have this workshop that's called Get Your Butt Out the Way. And if, if for the people who is B-U-T, not B-U-T-T, but I mean, it can be the same thing. Right? <laughs> it can be the same thing, I'm just saying. But okay, so talk to us about Get Your Butt Out the Way. I'll start. Okay. You, you want to start? Okay. <laughs> well, I, that, that was a great segue, Raquel. You did a good job with that. Um, you know, people will say, I, I would like to do this, or I, I should be doing this, but, and, and I'm going to go back to what you said earlier. It is always a choice. You are making a choice to, to insert that but there. Now, granted, sometimes things feel difficult. Sometimes they feel like this is out of my control. You know, uh, I, I would love to, to, to move, but I can't afford it. I don't have enough money. That's real. Okay. At the same time, as soon as you put that butt in there, you have closed a lot of doors and windows that could have been open for you, but you've shut them down. And so now it, it makes it so easy to stay right where you are, because as far as you can see, all the doors of opportunity are closed to you. And I wanted to say something about that as, as far as you can see, because that's exactly what it is, is that um, you don't have to see the whole roadway. All you have to do is say yes to the thing that's in front of you right now. And if you can say yes to the thing that's in front of you right now, in the light of this is going to work out for me. <laughs> you know, like we're gonna just get rid of that negativity. But this particular, whatever the situation is, it's, it's all coming together for my good, it's gonna work out for me. And all I need to do is make a decision of one thing right now without knowing the full path. And just let that be okay for now. <laughs> you don't have to think about the next step. The next step will rebuild itself. And I think if you can take it in smaller chunks as you're moving forward, it'll give you a little bit um, easier time to move from one thing to the next. You know what? You just said a mouthful with that smaller chunks. So goal setting. And then, be, okay, so we all, if you're listening and you're watching, we are all in Los Angeles. And one thing that you know about Los Angeles, and, and it, you may think that it's a myth, but it really is true. 
a lot of people are out here trying to become stars. Everybody got dreams, right? But one thing I realized here, you can't like, you can't, you have to chunk it down. You can't just be like, I'm going to be this, the next Denzel. No, you got to chunk it down. I'm going to go find a great class that I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's a win. You know, you find a good class and then you find a good, a good network of people and then they're helping you showing telling you about other people that, those are wins you got to chunk them down and you got to celebrate the wins yeah until you know you might not become the denzel for years right. but that doesn't mean you're unsuccessful that you know that doesn't mean that you're not going to do it you just got to find you got to chunk it down and 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 get the getting the agent is not as easy as people think so when you get the agent it's a win so that is like the small goals you know, and it's so like what you were saying, say, but it's like you we have to just kind of stop looking all the way down the road because that gets us in trouble. I think that's where people come in with the butt. They think about the entire thing. And so they put that butt because they're looking at the bigger vision as opposed to the smaller thing that they could do in the present moment, because really that's all we have is the present moment. We're looking at the future, but it's in the future. We don't know what's gonna happen. The only choice you have is a choice in the present moment. So yeah, I think if people can go in with that, get the butt out of the way and go in with that, I'm making the choice in this present moment. It will help that that person move to the next step. You know, that's good. Jack, I got another butt though. Okay. But the present moment is filled with COVID, unemployment, the the um senate they left before they gave us some extra money before the christmas holiday <laughs> yeah. i mean so jack talk about that like the you know we talk about when people make excuses right mm -hmm. but that I, the butt right it's so real yeah. it's here how do you what do you say to the people out there that's that's saying but I'm unemployed, mm -hmm. but there's no money. What, what do you say? You know what? I'm glad that we are on a, a Christian show <laughs> because I, I can go straight to God. Right. <laughs> right. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to go straight to God with these challenges that I'm feeling mm -hmm. because if I look around, yeah, I might see that uh, I'm unemployed. Uh, they didn't create a new stimulus package and the wrong person got into office and all of these other things. I can look around and see all of these things that are happening and they are happening. But I can also, but I can also, <laughs> this is a good but. <laughs> good but, I can also look and say, you know what? God has it all in hand. And so I'm going to rely on God to help me to see the things that are going to support me and help me to find the answers to the challenges that I'm facing and help me to figure out some new ways of looking at things, some new ways of maneuvering. Because I tell you what, it doesn't matter what's going on in, in the world or what's going on in your life. There's somebody else that's dealing with the same stuff that you're dealing with, and their life looks totally different from yours. We've all heard the story. We may have seen it. We may have experienced it. We know people who came out of the hood. That's me. Right? <laughs> and, 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 and maybe they made it big. Maybe they got really successful, or maybe they just moved up to another a better neighborhood. Right. Or got a better car or whatever the case may be. Now, they were growing up with the same situation that you're growing up with. What's the difference? They looked at things differently. Mm -hmm. And because you look at things differently, your life moves in a different direction based on what you're looking at, based on the conversations you're choosing to have, based on the excuses you're choosing to make or not make, based on the goals you're choosing to set. When you put those things in place, your life just moves in a different direction. Oh, that's good. I like because you said what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. That's deep. Because I think Reverend Sherry was talking about how, you know, flowers grow in all neighborhoods. 
Yeah. Remember, you know, she's yeah. like, but the people in the hood who is more concrete, they may focus more on the concrete and not the couple of flowers that have grown. Right. Or the people that live in the country is, you know, they focusing on the flowers that have grown. But there's flowers everywhere. Right. Yeah, I got some roses right outside my house in Hawthorne. You know what I'm saying? It's like they everywhere. And I, I make a point to look at them. Yes. Be grateful for that. I look at them and they constantly grow. They yes. just constantly grow for me. So like, can you just talk about how do you how do you teach a person to overcome their excuses or their um, stumbling blocks and to, to change their focus of what they're looking at? How do you do that? We can go back to scripture again. This too shall pass. Mm -hmm. Everything is temporary. Everything is temporary. So it's, this is a temporary situation. And the way to see the, to have your life unfold, how you prefer for it to unfold, making a choice is kind of like you, you were saying, Raquel, they can join your challenge. Your 30 day challenge could be a start. Your gratitude, you know, being grateful for it, something small, just so that you begin to see what you can be grateful for. And because it's in that space of gratitude where the God ideas will come in, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll come down, or you'll connect with those God ideas while you're in a state of gratitude. If you just take time out, like I shared, I have an, an app that gives you a three minute meditation. Three minutes. <laughs> All this was just three minutes. And, you know, I took a pause for three minutes and, and connected with that meditation. And that moved me to the next state. I could have stayed in a state of feeling fatigued and tired and overwhelmed by everything that was going on. But I chose to do something different. So it's still, it comes back to choice. It comes back to everything happens in the present moment. We're making choices in the present moment. And gratitude could be the beginning of that, which yeah. is going to open the door to the the ideas that are going to take you out of that place. Yes. So wait, before, look, I, I just, can you share with the people what that meditation um, thing is? Cause meditation is not easy, no. I, but that three minutes is like, I think I can do three minutes, yeah. but 30 minute meditation. Yeah. I'm going to be asleep. So <laughs> will you share? I'm serious because the meditation is important. We yeah. all know, but what happens is, People, th you know, think you have to, they, you have to do it for a long period of time. And then you, it, it, so they don't do it because they can't do it for a long period of time. Yeah. So you find a three minute meditation. It's like, okay, start where you start. And it's a win. It's, it's through unity and it's titled You Pray. It's the letter U, Pray. Mm -hmm. And it's just an app that I downloaded. From you pray from unity.org unity.org mm -hmm. unity okay thank you i just wanted people to hear because you kept saying i was like we need to we need to put a little pin in that because that's important i really believe that now, um, i want to i want to dovetail on the last question that you asked okay but i also want to talk a little bit about meditation because mm -hmm. i heard you say meditation is hard and, and say, well, you kind of co-signed in on that. And it, I used does, to think it, that. Does, it doesn't have to be. I used to think that. Okay. That it doesn't have to be. And that's because we don't necessarily understand what meditation is. And meditation is not anything specific. So mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you have to spend a certain amount of time. You don't have to sit in a certain posture. You don't have to breathe a certain way. I mean, these are all techniques that we've heard about. We've been taught. Mm -hmm. uh, they can be very valuable techniques. But you have to do what works for you. And so I, I simplify it for people. Okay. What meditation really is, and it's, it is most simple form, mm -hmm. it's just being quiet. See right there. That's good. Just be quiet. That's good. And and can you can you be quiet and just breathe for a minute? Well, yeah, I can do that. And it's it's, it's not about clearing all your thoughts. That can be very challenging to clear all your thoughts. <laughs> yes. But can you just sit there and be with God for a minute, for three minutes? If you can get to three minutes next week, maybe you can get to five minutes. Just sit there and be with God and be quiet. It's not a time to try to solve your problems. Right? Oh, I love it. It's just you just hanging out with spirit. 
Oh, that is so good. That is so good. <laughs> I hope people are because you think that meditation, you have to chant, you have to have the certain music. You gotta, but you just and and I actually do meditate. I edit, meditate when I first wake up. And I just lay there in the bed and I'm just quiet. And I, you know, and I'm just quiet. And then sometimes I start talking to God, which is in which is prayer. Because people think prayer is a lot different than just talking to God. And then sometimes I just talk to God. And sometimes I visualize, which is just daydreaming. Okay. Right. But people think visualization is a little bit harder. So it's like you, you, you said a mouthful. It's like it's easy. It's it's and we do make it harder because we try to be like other people. And in, in my now, now this is my opinion. You can do meditation however meditation works for you. So you talk about prayer. Sometimes I will start talking to God in my meditation. My, so I my prayer and my meditation might be intertwined. Sometimes my visualization starts to come into my meditation. That's okay. I'm gonna let it come in, you know, because this is the time I'm hanging out with spirit anyway. Right. So you do it your way. Mm -hmm. But if you can say, yeah, I got up and I got quiet for five minutes this morning and I spent five minutes with God before I started my day. You meditated. Good for you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Because we spiritual. We spiritual folks. Now, All of us. That's I want to go back to that other question that you asked. It was a really good question. You said, how can you help people overcome their stumbling blocks? Mm -hmm. I got a scripture, too. And Saber came up with a scripture. I want to quote my all-time favorite scripture. It is done unto you as you believe. Mm. So what Jesus was telling us is that you get to create the kind of life you're going to have and the life experiences that you're going to have based on what you believe, right? what you think, what you feel, what actions you're taking. This is what's going to result in what shows up in your life. God is not sitting there saying, well, I think I'm going to do this for Raquel today. And I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make Jack go through this hard time this week. No, it all comes about based on what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what I'm believing. And if I keep believing that things are working well for me, I keep believing that things are getting better for me. And I keep making good, solid plans, not out of fear, not out of worry but plans out of, you know, God is in agreement with me, out of that meditation time. That's how you overcome those stumbling blocks. So, Jack, I need you to share with the people your testimony, because people, you know, a lot of times people hear people talk this talk, mm -hmm. and they're like, yeah, but they don't understand my life, you know. Jack, share, share your your testimony well you know i noticed you didn't mention it in, in my bio and that was okay but i see you you need your own show let me call oprah uh anyway <laughs> right so I'm, I'm a normal person i'm an everyday guy you know i'm not rich and famous i don't have all the answers i don't always get it right uh, I have had lots and lots of struggles. I've made lots of mistakes. I've screwed up many times in my life. My life started off in my early 20s. I started off living on the streets, being homeless. I, 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 and that led to me carrying around a lot, of, a lot of baggage for many years and making poor decisions and making mistakes. And it took a lot of trial and error for me to... Uh, to be where I am today. And, I, and, you know, things are not perfect in my life, but they are really, really good. And I'm really, really happy with my life the way it is right now. You know, and the biggest thing for me is being a spiritual person and, you know, staying connected with God and continually learning and praying and meditating and, and doing all these spiritual practices that we talk about. Because this is really, in my mind, this is really the, the best way to, to live the kind of life that you want to live. Yes, yes. I just needed everybody to hear from you because <laughs> I, I it, it, it connects differently. Yeah. You know, it hits differently when it comes from you. And and I needed, you know, because I, I know the buts are there. I, I still have them every now and then. You know, the buts are hard to let go. And it's like, okay, but God. 
that's what I've been trying to, you know, do when I get all the butts and then I, but then the last one is, but God, you know, and, and that one is the one that allows me to sleep at night when people, you know, I can have a whole lot of stuff going, but I can sleep at night because I, my prayer, but God, and it's like, go and lay it down, girl. It is out of your hands. Just rest, cause you stand up ain't finna change nothing. <laughs> now, so real quick, we are five. It, it, it went by so quick. Real quick, where can people find the science of affirmation and habit mastery? Okay, um, habit mastery is not published yet. Okay. Uh, it will be the science of affirmation. You can find it on Amazon. Scienceofaffirmation.com. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also send me an email, Jack, at the science of Okay. And the habit mastery. Sorry. I, I, I don't know what I just said. <laughs> you said Jack and science You can find affirmation. the book on Amazon, the science of affirmation. Mm -hmm. You can find the book on Amazon. You can email me at the science, at Jack at the science of That's what you said. That's what you said. All right. <laughs> Okay. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. <laughs> That's a song. Anyway, but the habit mastery, so you said it's not out yet, but habits are huge. And we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to come back to come and back talk about habits. Because yeah. habits is important. Sure. Oh my goodness. Habits are important. I'm just trying to get my habit of doing 64 ounces, drinking 64 ounces of water every day. <laughs> it's like it's it's something with these habits because there's so many habits that we have and there's so many habits that we want to get and it's like trying to switch habits and trying to it it's a lot so i'm gonna need you to come back and we're gonna talk about habits put me on your calendar for three months from now and i okay. promise i'll be i'll be ready with the book and we'll talk about habit. Well, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, hey, if you guys have enjoyed Jack and Sabah and, and my conversation, let me just share with y'all. We are all members of Up Church. And Up Church yes. stands for Understanding Principles, okay, for better living. We are a different breed. We mm -hmm. are a different breed. Let me tell you, if you have been hurt by church folk, you come to us because we won't hurt you. We are not those people. We love you up. We love you up to your 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 divine potential. So y'all come and, and everybody can come because we are um, meeting on YouTube, um, and it's Up Church Up Church LA, right? Is it Up Church LA on YouTube? I believe that's it. So we are there, um, and we are actually chatting live at one p.m. Pacific time. So you come over there and join us in our guy. But I tell you what, you will get the same kind of stuff that we're talking about today at the church. And you will have access to Jack and Sava. You'll have access to me. You'll have access to other people like us. And we will be able to help you, you know, get your butt out the way. I love that. Until next week, everybody, stay grateful, stay grateful, and remember what God has done for others, he will do the same for you. Amen. Be blessed.